Hey everyone, today we're going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Nebula from the new Guardians movie. Now I know I'm a little late to this, um, but I wasn't really interested in these figures until I saw Nebula on discount. And I was like, you know what, I'll just pick her up, see if she's a good figure. And then now I kind of want to get the rest of them. So for a brief overview of the box, this is what it looks like, your typical Marvel Legends box. The accessories, what comes with the build the figure, and the art, or I guess the artwork, um, or the render of the figure. So going into the head sculpt, it's very great. It uses that photoreal technology that Hasbro has been using for the past couple of years, so nothing too special, but it's still still great to see the detail of the figure is pretty nice um like i said it's going to be pretty much the same with all the other figures since in the movie um they all have like the same uniform pretty much so it's going to be the same design just obviously different um body types but even the detail on the arm i think is really nice for nebula pretty sturdy um i do have an issue with this hand but overall i think it's just a great figure great detail all around for articulation it's pretty similar to any other marvel legends the heads on a ball joint so you can look up look down torso can rotate freely pivot side to side arms on a double hinge pinless it's very nice you see it both sides actually I think this side might not bend as much or I think it's just me I don't know I just realized that the legs can go out this much can kick forward this much kick back about that much thigh cut right here Double jointed legs, or double, double jointed knees, get good range, motion, boot swivel, and then obviously the typical Marvel Legends feet. For the accessories, Nebula comes with a blaster, which is pretty good detail, but it is just in gray plastic, but pretty good sculpting detail overall kind of fits weird on her hand uh, I'll see if I can show that in a bit but overall I think it's a pretty decent looking gun she comes also with this tiny blaster which again is in just the gray plastic she also comes with a blade attachment for her arm and then for the build a figure she comes with a Cosmo's leg this is what Nebula looks like with the arm blade already equipped. This is Nebula equipped with her smaller sidearm blaster. And finally with her larger blaster. For comparisons, here she is with the Astonishing Ant-Man, a review I did previously, so you can go check them out. Here's Nebula next to the comic book Black Panther figure. Here she is next to Wanda Maximoff of the Classics line of Marvel Legend figures. And finally, here's Nebula next to a 7-inch DC McFarlane, well, DC Multiverse figure. So now that I have Nebula in person, I definitely do enjoy this figure, and I'm going to be definitely proud of displaying her alongside all my other Marvel Legends figures. Um, I'm also planning on getting the full wave of the Guardians. But if you'd like to see me review the rest of the, these figures, let me know in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.